Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the month of January. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aquarius, this is um, a connection reading, so you actually have to have a connection with a person. So um, it can be just a mutual connection, you know, you kind of like each other. Um, they have to know who you are, basically. So whether you're together or not, this is for any kind of connection that you think you have with somebody. So we'll see what we get here. If you um, like somebody and they don't know who you are, then you may want to watch the singles reading I do monthly and maybe something there will resonate for you. So um, that's just a suggestion also. So let's see what we have for Aquarius for the month of January. This is dated for January, but I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past playlist videos, uh, those are down below in the description box. Um, so this is for any time you see this till whenever basically so let's see what's going on with Aquarius welcome everybody hope everybody's doing well um, Merry Christmas Happy New Year all right so let's see what's going on for Aquarius so this is a zodiac zodiac oracle so we could get a sign element or planet if you don't resonate with whatever comes out here totally fine this is sort of just like a little extra bonus um, and the rest of the reading may resonate for you so let's see what we have here for Aquarius or a sign here. So we have Saturn, and this is Capricorn energy. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, or somebody could have it heavily in their chart. Um, but that Saturn energy is all about um, ambitions and goals, security, lessons, and challenges. So I don't know, we'll see how that plays into your reading, if it does at all. If not, um, the Cap uh, Saturn, Capricorn, does represent the devil in the major arcana. In the deck so I don't know if that means anything so we'll see here so the first thing I'm going to do here Aquarius is get a overall love energy between you and your person to see what your main energy is like at this time spirit please thank you so much what is the main energy like between Aquarius and the person that they have in mind at this time spirit please thank you so much I'm feeling that one so we have simply love so this is the Six of Cups energy, water energy. So this is about uh, soulmate energy. Six of Cups is about nostalgia, memories, thinking back of the past, childhood, uh, someone you could have known since childhood, somebody uh, that you could be have been with or be with now for a very long time. Um, you could have even had past lives with this person and you have children with this person. Uh, they could be a spouse or just a long time partner that you could have children with. So. Or you could have had past lives with this person. So it's so all that uh, soulmate energy. So now I'm going to do uh, Aquarius is get one for you, one for your person. If you're not familiar with my readings, we're going to see how you're both feeling about each other and the connection. And we'll clarify everything here with tarot. Aquarius, I'm going to put you on this side, your person here. But if any time you feel like this side is you, that side is them, please switch flip energies anytime throughout this reading if you see fit and only take what resonates and throw away the rest cross watchers welcome maybe a reading for you not your person or vice versa here so let's see throat chakra oh somebody's needing to speak the truth on this side so you aquarius here have dreams coming true so this is the nine of cups energy so you feel you may feel like all, all your wishes and dreams are coming true here um joy happiness fulfillment energy or you're, you're wanting that or you you feel like that's coming like your dreams are coming true like you feel it or you feel like this person is your dream come true and then we have a uh, throat chakra here for them uh, which is five five is all about change so they could be you know coming to you and speaking their truth about how they feel about you or this person is just very open and honest and truthful with you there's open honest communication between the two of you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Manifest. So this is the magician energy. And this is a brand new beginning. So manifesting. This could be um, a brand new connection. Or this could be... Because um, the manifest there, one, ones are about new beginnings. Um, so they could be coming and speaking their truth, saying now they want this new beginning with you, manifesting it forward. If you've had children with this person, maybe... Um, recent you know with that kind of capricorn devil energy there maybe there's been some um struggles and challenges in your connection and maybe you've been separated for a while or maybe there was some toxic energy 
involved somehow, whatever that means for you. But now I feel like this is coming back together here, definitely. Somebody's speaking their truth. And dreams definitely coming true. So let's see what's going on here, Aquarius. We're going to clarify these cards. And then we're going to get your actual situation. And then we'll get advice. Possible outcome. Clarifying all that. And then we'll get some bonus messages here at the end with that deck there. All the decks are listed below if you're interested in what decks I'm using. Tons of stuff down in the description box. So please do go check that out. Uh, personal reading information. Um, social media. I do readings on Instagram. And uh, playlists. Tons of stuff down there. So feel free to check that out. So let's get one for your person here. See what's going on. So you have nine. Well, you got nine of cups on the nine of cups. I can't make this. <laughs> this is like double wishes coming true. You know, maybe in the past they were a wish, a dream come true. And I, like I said, there was this, maybe this brief separation or uh, challenges or struggles between the two of you. Maybe you've been separated for a while. But now I feel like things are coming back together because you've got wish fulfillment again. Wish fulfillment on wish fulfillment. Holy crap. So let's see what your person has here. So they got the Queen of Wands. So that's that. They're very passionate about you. You know, in that Saturn energy, the devil energy with Capricorn can be about a very fiery, passionate um, connection. A lot of desire, temptation or lust or whatever here. So they're feeling uh, in a fiery energy here of feeling very fiery and passionate towards you. And you see them as a wish and dream come true. And wow. So let's clarify these two cards. So now we've got the nine of wands. So a lot of nines here. So yeah, nine of wands can be about that struggle, that fight, that battle, you know, but you keep persevering on. So I feel like there could have been challenges in the past. But now you got the seven of wands. It's about being, it did fall out this way, kind of upside down. So I'm going to take it in reverse. So the Seven of Wands is about being uh, defensive on guard, but it's in reverse. So it's letting down uh, barriers, letting down uh, walls, and uh, you know, letting down your guard. So I feel like now on this side, this person's ready to speak their truth. And they're letting their walls down, their guard down. Um, whatever was between you before or whatever happened here, I feel like that that is being shed. And now there's like a coming back together. A lot of fiery, passionate energy on this on this side. So they could be, they could have fire and water in their chart if they're not a Capricorn. Um, that Saturn energy just could be the energy. So let's see what we have here. So we have the Five of Wands for the actual situation. Wow, the Four and Five of Wands, and that's right in the middle of your spread. The Four of Wands. So let's get one more here in the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like. The Five of Wands on your side, again, is that competition, that battle, that um, conflict. So I feel like, because you've got the conflict with feeling like beat up in the Wounded Warrior on your side. So I feel like definitely here there's been conflict, competition in between you in the past, whatever that was for you, that caused maybe a separation here. And I feel like they felt really, really imbalanced without you over here with the Two of Pentacle energy. So now, you know, ready just to let down their guard, their walls. And four of wands right in the middle here is about uh, commitment, coming back together. You could be marriage. Um, maybe if you were married, you were separated, but now you're coming back together. Um, you're realizing now you're better with each other than without each other. And, you know, that four of wands energy is about commitment, uh, marriage, ceremonies, uh, stable relationships home environment so let's see here realizing now that you know there is love between the two of you you know so let's see let's get a couple more clarifiers here so we have wow the queen of pentacles and the ace of swords so could be earth or maybe they have earth water fire heavy in their chart um doesn't have to be but the queen of pentacles so stabilizing the connection once again having a brand new beginning based on truth and clarity cutting away energy is no longer serving whatever was keeping you apart in the past or whatever separation here now seeing things with new eyes new truth new clarity uh, cutting away things energies whatever not serving speaking up telling your truth not taking any bs and now stabilizing 
and um, the connection here, grounding the connection, the Queen of Pentacles energy, in a more loving, caring, nurturing, giving energy, growth, expansion, truth, clarity, Ace of Swords, victorious new beginning now. It's like starting over, and this time is going to be more committed, more uh, stable, more nurturing, caring, and giving, more truth, because they got Throat Chakra and the Ace of Swords on their side. So they're, they're really clear. They're really, really clear now. And they know exactly what they want. They felt so imbalanced without you. Letting down their God. Letting down their walls. Feeling that fiery, passionate energy. And just seeing things clearly now. And simply love there. So knowing it's just simply love between the two of you. Whatever was between the two of you before, I feel, will be shed. And it's just now going to be simply love between the two of you. Wow. Wow. So let's get your advice, Aquarius, for this situation. Nine of Swords, so stress, worry, fears, anxiety, nervous energy. So why is that here for Aquarius? It's your energy, though. We have the Ace of Cups. So, yeah, you have fear, worry, and anxiety about this restarting, this rekindling. If it's not restarting, rekindling, or whatever was keeping you apart, you know, will this ever get off the ground? Will, it, will this ever come together or come back together? I think you were, you're very stressed and worried about that, the Nine of Swords, but I think your advice is not to stress because it's brand new beginning of love, love, simply love there. So love and emotions overflowing, um, deep, deep love connection here. So you got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords over there. So brand new beginnings here, divinely guided with two Aces. So I don't think you have to stress about it, even though you may be. So let's get a couple clarifiers for your advice here for you Aquarius. So we have, wow, we got the King of Pentacles on the Queen of Pentacles. I can't make this up. So it doesn't matter about the uh, element here or the, you know, the signs. This is a matching couple. So this is soulmate energy. Again, you could have had past lives with this person. Same suit, soulmate, soulmate energy here. So you are soulmates here. All right, so let's get one more for your clarifying advice here. Thank you. Eight of Wands. So there's a communication. So not only do they have the throat chakra, chakra which is all that open, honest communication, but now they have fast travel, action, fiery, passionate, Cupid's arrows here, communication. So Ace of Swords communication, brand new beginning, letting down their God and their walls, knowing how imbalanced they were without you. Wow, heavy soulmate energy here. So let's get, they're coming at you. They're coming at you and they're going to be speaking their truth. The star, wow, wishes, and, that's your energy, Aquarius. Aquarian energy here. Wishes, dreams coming true. Faith, hope, optimism. Healing energy. Things will be healed between the two of you. Divinely guided energy. This is a divinely guided connection. Whatever happened between the two of you in your connection, whatever here through its... Um, lifetime or whatever was divinely guided meant to be so whether it was good bad whatever here this is a divinely guided connection which is dreams coming true and you got that over here you got two nine of cups here of wishes coming true and so is the star wow aquarius <laughs> wow and we got the knight of cups so here they come riding in on their horse with their love affections emotions Loving, uh, act, taking loving action towards you, coming towards you. Justice, bringing justice into the situation. Balance, truthful uh, communication, balance. Doing what's just and right in this connection. You know, if you've had a child with them, things happen and maybe it's, you know, hasn't been good. And maybe they left or whatever here, or you left, somebody left the connection maybe there was a child and you felt it was unjust, it wasn't right, whatever happened. But now I feel like forgiveness is coming back, healing is coming back, people coming back together, realizing how much they truly love each other and how um, much of a struggle it's been without each other being apart or separated, whatever your situation is. So with the star and justice, wow. So yeah, coming back together here, loving action coming forward, you to them, them to you, however it resonates for you. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have five of cups. So, you know, sadness, loss, hurt, sorrow. Yeah, feeling sad and lonely without one another. 
Six of Cups on the Six of Cups. So past life, soulmate. You could have known them since childhood, like I said, or you had been with them for a long time. Maybe it was a separation, but now it's like a coming back together. Seven of Cups, you know, confused, daydreamy kind of energy, not sure for a while here, you know, what's going on. But now, you know, listening to your gut, intuition, higher knowing, the high priestess energy, and maybe there was a time when you weren't talking to one another, but now here's the chariot moving things forward. A lot of drive, ambition, a balance, victory. So, yep, yeah, so we have Cancer energy here. We have Cancer Pisces. Let's see. Let's see, we have um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Aquarius. We have, let's see, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see, we have, let's see, Libra. So those are the main Capricorn there. Those are the main, uh, and over here is um, the Magician, which is Gemini, Virgo. So a lot of different signs. We have all the signs here. So don't get too caught up on the signs. It's just the energy. So let's look at some messages with this deck for you, Aquarius. I do ask Aquarius. If you like how I read, if you're new, please do subscribe, like, share, comment. I'd love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four different readings a month. I do a love connection, a singles reading, who's coming towards you, a general tarot forecast. Sometimes it's love, sometimes not. And I do messages from spirit, what you need to know at this time. And I do element um, weekly energy readings, love, life, and advice. So if you're interested in all that, please do hit the bell. You won't miss out. If you do, thank you. Thank you everybody for all your support that you've shown the channel, whether you like, share, subscribe, commented, or uh, sent a gift, donated, reached out for personal reading. Thank you to everybody. So let's get some extra messages here for you Aquarius. Wow, that one just transformation. Yeah, things will be transforming in this connection. And we have one and nine, which is 10. Tens are endings, but one is a new beginning. So there's a new beginning happening. Things are transforming. And this connection, I feel like coming back together, it's like a big explosion of light, of growth, expansion, almost like the world energy right here uh, in the middle, bright colors there. All right, so what do we have? Soul tree, 21, which is three, and three is about coming together, uh, rejoicing, celebrating, uh, cooperation, teamwork. Collaborating, So I feel like coming back together, working this out with the tree there, bringing the stability back into this connection, grounding it for the long term, you know, growth and abundance here with the tree, soulmate energy there, making it, you know, firm and strong, firmer and stronger than it was before. So we have here sensitivity. So it could have been, you know, a very sensitive time between the two of you. We have one and five, which is six. Six is a very healing, balancing number. So yeah, it could be a sensitive issue or sensitive energies between you. But with the red rose here, I feel like somebody could be coming in, you know, apologizing, um, heartfelt conversations, loving action forward. All right, let's see what's on the bottom. Inner voice. And we have the high priestess that was over here on the bottom of the deck. So somebody's going to listen to the inner voice. It could be your person. If you feel like that's you, that's them on this side with that throat chakra. Somebody finally listening to their gut, their intuition, their inner voice and uh, transform in this situation because we have 28 again, 10 ending and then one new beginning. So somebody really paying attention to uh, how they feel, how they think and what they want and making moves forward to bring this back together or come together in the soulmate energy here. Wow, well, Aquarius, so <laughs> good luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.